Welcome back you guys. We got another 8042 tutorial. We are going to show you how to post a blog on Shopify. Posting blogs is a great way to get more leads coming into your online store. So the first step once you're logged into the backend platform in Shopify is to press online store. You should see blog posts right below themes. You're going to click on that and then come up to the top right corner and click add blog post. All right. Now I have a blog that I'm going to be posting um, for the sake of this video and you can definitely write your own if you want, but I recommend writing it in a Google doc. Once it's done, edited, ready to post. Um, now it's going to be uh, where you guys can come back and start the tutorial included in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and just highlight the title of the blog. Um, and go ahead and paste that in. We've got three unexpected benefits of moving your body every day. And then I'm gonna come in and select the body of the blog and paste that directly into um, the body of the blog here, all right? Uh, there is a little sample of what your blog is going to look like. Um, it allows you to add an excerpt uh, which we will be doing as well as SEO, um, which is very important for those of you that are unaware SEO stands for search engine optimization and it um, improving the SEO improves the overall ability for people to find your blog post when they search for unexpected benefits of moving your body, for example, um, on Google. All right. The other thing that's important in Shopify is to uh, add a featured image. So I'm going to create a new tab and go to unsplash.com. There are a few sites where you can find images, but I recommend unsplash. You will get into zero trouble for using images from unsplash in your Shopify blogs. Once you find your image, I'm going to use um, this one. It looks like she's getting ready to stretch or move. Uh, you can go ahead and drop it into your featured image on the blog. Now, Shopify does have a 20 megapixel limit, so you may need to go to a site, for example, imageresizer.com, drop your image in there, and then select a different aspect ratio. I, for example, selected 1920 um, by 1080 then clicked convert and then I can click download image. That's imageresizer.com. Then you can come back to Shopify and drop that image in. Your image should work. You're gonna want to um, include the author as well as keep this hidden for now. So if you do wanna make any changes, you can press save. Once you click visible and then press save, your blog is gonna go live. You can also um, set the visibility date. So for example, you can um, set, or in this case, I'll clear the date. Now adding an excerpt is gonna be the next step that we take. Um, and we're just gonna take the very beginning of the, this um, blog for the sake of this video. You can, however, um, get fancy with this. You can use the coolest part of the blog or the, the portion of the blog that's going to rank best for SEO. Um, I'm gonna click edit SEO. In this case, uh, the description is going to be automatically the first 320 characters used. I'm gonna backspace this up. It is important guys, just for a quick tip, um, that the page title should be included in the description. There are three unexpected benefits from moving your body every day. <clears throat> it's no secret that exercise is one of the most important factors for staying healthy, but moving your body daily is more powerful than you might think. Okay. By including the page title in the description, that's going to bump my SEO up. I have my ex, um, excerpt. I can't say that word. I have my excerpt. And again, guys, uh, this blog is for committedhp.com. I'm showing you this as a sample. The founder is a good friend. Um, and we work closely with him. So if you guys do want to check out committedhp.com, 
Uh, they have some excellent exercise equipment that you can work out from from home. And you guys will get the chance to see this um, blog live. I'll include a link in the description of this video. The next thing that you'd want to do is go through and read the blog one more time. Shopify does include a spell check, which is great. So there's a few words that were spelled wrong in here that we can just go through and fix. And the other important aspect of blogs that I want to leave you with is including hyperlinks. So for example, if you are wanting to promote a specific product or your blog contains um, information that you would want to reference an affiliate marketing link or something of that sort. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to highlight a specific aspect of the text and then this insert link is going to appear. Now you can click on that and you're going to insert the domain of where you would like that to point to and then it will hyperlink that section of text so that if somebody does click on it, it will take them directly to either your affiliate link or a specific product on your web page. That's for the most part it. Um, this stuff is standard. You can format it differently, select certain text, make it bold, italicized, or underlined. I do recommend, however, doing all of that in um, you know, a software like Google Docs so that you can check out spell checks, you can format it, and it's not actually in your website. And once it's in your website, um, I recommend posting it. So we're gonna go ahead and click visible. Um, today's date is 7-15-2021. And so we're gonna save this and then click view on the top right. And it will show you a sample of what the blog looks like. And the, the look of the blog is going to replicate that of the theme of your site. So um, you cannot actually change the look of your blog directly in uh, the blog post section. That's going to be a separate tutorial where we would talk about themes in Shopify. Hopefully that tutorial was helpful. If I left anything out, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you need help with and I will make sure to help you out. Hopefully that was um, a good basic tutorial on how to post a blog for you guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Give this video some love if this helped you out. We take our time out of you know the day to put together these tutorials, so it's, it's awesome to just see your feedback. The more likes and comments that we get, the better we feel about what we're doing. So thanks so much and have a good one.